come take a walk with me on the beach for a little while. So why am I here? Why are so many of us here on the beach, on the coast? Why do over a third of human beings on the face of the earth <clears throat> live within 75, 75 miles of the coast? Why are we here? Is it the ocean that draws us? The beauty of the shore? Is it the sky? Is it the frontier, the boundary between land and sea? What is it that causes so many of us build our homes on the shore, to build these structures so close to peril, to the storms that spring up from the ocean and now to the rising seas. Why is it? I've heard that great explosion of human consciousness itself began at the edge of the sea in Africa. I don't know if this is true or not. I would have to ask the scientists themselves. So perhaps one of them one day will come for a walk with me on the beach and discuss this. But I know that ever since I was a child, I've been drawn to the ocean majesty, it's terror, it's beauty, it's glory, and it's mystery. So why am I here? Why am I here in the Outer Banks amongst these homes, these souls that are clinging to the edge and yet living such a glorious existence here. Why am I here? In a word, in a phrase, more so, some things are worth fighting for. And if you want to fight for something, you don't fight from the rear. You fight from the front. And where is the front? Well, in the fight against climate crisis, it's right here right in this wet sand. Right here. Right here amongst the waves blown in by the storms because they're coming. More of them. Much larger. Much more dangerous. Much more damaging as the oceans rise and as the storms intensify. That's why I'm here. I'm here on a mission. I'm here <laughs> on a mission to fight the things that matter most to all of us. So let me ask you this. How valuable are the shores to you? How valuable is this boundary between the land and the sea? How valuable is it to you as a place to live, to grow, to learn, to have your own consciousness expanded? valuable is it? And are you willing to just let it all go? Let it all sink beneath the waves? Or are you willing to fight? Are you willing to do what is necessary to help defend these shores from a, cl a climate crisis driven by the very fuels that 
built up the industrial age. Are you willing to help make the next leap in human development to a sustainable society, a better life for everyone, a more healthier life, a life of clean air, clean water, more democratized energy, and of yes, fighting to save one of the places of the origins of the emergence of human consciousness, our coastline. So I'm here. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to surf. I'm here to enjoy this life here on this diminishing strand of sand, on this sandbar on which people have staked so much and which draws hundreds of thousands every day in the summertime to come enjoy it. But I'm also here to fight and I ask you to join me. We're going to talk about how to fight more later. But for now, resolve ourselves, to fight for what's most dear to us, to fight both for our origins and for our future.